Hey hockey players, Coach Garner here from HockeyTraining.com. In this video, we're going to run through an arm workout that hockey players should be doing to boost the functional hypertrophy, which is the muscle growth, of their arms, which is going to help them out in the ice. Now, some people think that hockey players really shouldn't be doing arm workouts, but there's a lot of benefit to be had here. Do hockey players need to have arms the size of a bodybuilder? Of course not. But do they need arms bigger than a couch potato? Absolutely. It plays its own very unique role out on the ice. For example, arms, specifically bicep development and your grip strength is very important for allowing you to do a lot of chin-ups, pull-ups, neutral grip, whatever it's going to be, and pull-ups have a direct correlation to improving your slap shot power out in the ice. So arms can limit your pull-up strength and pull-up strength is going to limit your shot power on the ice. So we're helping something that's helping something to improve your shot power. Beyond this, wrist shots, snap shots, and passing is almost exclusively just arm strength. There's no major rotation, there's no big hip explosion here. In many cases, that is just arm strength. And if you're going to try and raise the puck, one thing the bicep does, as you've probably noticed in the gym, when you go from pronation to supination, you can see the bicep kind of contracts there in a peaking way when people try to flex their biceps, right? But when you're curling a puck in and trying to shoot it and elevate it, that is supination. There's a lot of bicep development and bicep strength there helping your shot power in that movement. So we've got something helping pullouts that's helping shot power, pull-ups helping shot power. We've got supination, which is helping the more shorter range of motion, passes, wrist shots, and snap shots out in the ice. But beyond this, it does help even with the total body stuff out in the ice. Because one thing we know about power development is power is driven from the ground, but then expressed out the extremities. So it's very important you build your power out, but through your legs and extend your hips. But ultimately, the end of the movement, the end of the kinetic chain, for example, of a slap shot is still going out your fingertips. So if you're building up a lot of power in your legs and your hips and in your core, and you've got all this rotation, but then this is your weak link in the chain, well, let me tell you something, you're only as strong as the weakest link in your chain. So you don't want to limit power output simply due to a belief that you shouldn't be building up your arms because you absolutely should because it can even hold you back in those total body movements that slap shots, hitting, you name it. I don't need to explain that stuff to you guys. Lastly, what do you think is going to be most active when you're trying to fight somebody off the puck or trying to build up uh, your space in front of the net when you're trying to mark your ground in front of the net and be the guy who's going to get the deflection and get the goal. Arms are definitely active here. You need to have legs as your strong foundation and core as a strong foundation. Good posture, no doubt about it. But this action undoubtedly is going to be uh, better complemented with a greater amount of strength in the arms. This is why we're doing a little bit of arm training today, you guys. Hockey players don't need bodybuilder arms. They need hockey arms. Let's get into it. This workout is gonna be performed in tri-sets. And the first exercise you're going to do is the dip. We wanna do 10 reps here before resting 10 seconds and moving on to the next exercise. There are many different variations of dips. With this one, I want you to keep your wrist in line with your elbow and lean slightly forward in this range of motion. The next exercise in this tricep is the flat neutral dumbbell triceps extension. You're gonna have your feet flat on the ground, you're gonna be flat on a bench, point your elbows directly to the sky and have only your triceps extend the dumbbells. I don't want you to move your elbows and activate your lats in order to cheat a little bit and get the dumbbell up. You're gonna perform 10 reps here before resting 10 seconds and moving on to the last exercise in this tricep. Next up is the easy bar seated French press. We wanna do 10 reps here and rest two minutes, which would complete the full tri-set. We're gonna repeat this tri-set for five total rounds. Now the French press is here to activate the long head of the tricep. It's very important to stay still, keep a good posture, and take on the narrow grip when you grab that easy bar. The next tri-set in this workout is gonna be focused on the biceps, and we're gonna begin with the easy bar reverse grip Scott curl. 
We're gonna perform 10 reps here before resting for 10 seconds and moving on to the next exercise. This exercise is great for the brachioradialis, which is very important to be strong as this takes tension off of our elbows during high velocity movements, such as the slap shot. The next exercise in this tricep is the seated dumbbell hammer curl. We're gonna do 10 reps here and rest 10 seconds before moving on to the next exercise. Here, make sure you have that neutral hand grip position. You don't wanna be all the way supinated or all the way pronated. Stay neutral, stay tight, and stay postured, and keep this focused on the bicep. The last exercise in this specific tricep is the supinated incline dumbbell biceps curl. We're gonna perform 10 reps here before resting for two minutes, which would complete this second tricep of the workout. Have your hands in full supinated position, and you want an incline on the bench that's about 30 degrees. The last exercise in this workout that's gonna be done all by itself are plate pinchers. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds and rest 60 seconds in between rounds. Make sure that you don't allow your shoulders to roll forward and that you keep your posture throughout this entire movement and pinch onto those plates without hooking your fingers under any potential lips that may be in the plate. Thanks for watching our hockey training video. Smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you're the first one to know when all the new hockey training content comes out to keep you at your peak performance.